Black Hills are turning green, and that means we can expect to see more people on the hiking trails. Brad Walton is in the studio to discuss how hikers can stay safe while adventuring outdoors. The Black Hills are home to hundreds of miles of hiking trails, and with wilderness adventures comes the risk of accidents. This is Elkhorn Mountain, and the route to the top is known among climbers as one of the most challenging in the area. However, most hiking emergencies in the Black Hills don't occur on jagged peaks like this. Custer County Search and Rescue Director Sam Smolniski said the majority of issues his group responds to occur on popular, less challenging trails. Smolniski said the most important thing hikers can do to stay safe is making sure they are properly prepared for an adventure in the hills. There's a lot of great places um, in the Black Hills to go adventure, uh, but knowing where you're going to go, how long it's going to take, what supplies you should bring with, um, really sets people up for success. Smolniski said it's crucial for hikers to pack enough food and water for their outdoor adventures and spend time researching their route. Also, it's always a good idea to look at weather forecasts before heading out to the hills. So Brad, which trails most commonly see calls as for assistance from hikers down that way? Jack, Smolniski named Trail 9 up to Black Elk Peak is a common site for search and rescue operations. The trail itself isn't particularly hazardous, but hikers can often underestimate its difficulty and how steep it is. Are there any other resources hikers can use to prevent themselves from getting lost in the wilderness? Well, Juliana, having a reliable map can be crucial in these situations. Hikers may not be able to see trail systems on default phone applications, but there are plenty of apps available on most smartphones featuring additional details in wilderness areas. All right. Thank you, Brad.